Developed by the legends over at D-Bank, we have the Rabi Wallet, also known as the MetaMask Killer. Rabi could lead us to more than one airdrop, so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to maximize your airdrop odds. If you're ready to jump down the Rabi hole, follow me and stay close. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Old Crypto Gems for daily crypto content. And check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into it. All right then, so we're officially on the Rabi website, which is rabi.io. We've got the X page, which is at rabi underscore io. I'm gonna leave all the official links down below like we always do. And what we're gonna be doing is guys, we're going to be setting up the wallet to qualify for the Rabi airdrop. Now, Rabi is set up by the one and only D-Bank, the portfolio tracker with many cool features. And as we can see over here on the Web3 badges, if we scroll down, I'm gonna go through this again later, but we can see down below, we've got Rabi valued user issued by Rabi. Get the Rabi badge by using Rabi wallet, the game changing wallet for all EVM chains and enjoy far better security and a smooth experience. Now, this is an official wallet developed by D-Bank, my friends, which I believe that by using D-Bank and Rabi wallet together, we can get the ultimate all in one airdrop. So my friends, to get started, obviously what we're gonna need to do is choose our device that we want to use. Now, I'm personally going to be using the Chrome extension as that is the web browser I use all the time. You can use the desktop version and download it on your Mac or Windows device, or you can even use the beta version of the mobile app on Google Play, Android APK, and Apple App Store. So. I'm going to be using the Google Chrome store, like I said. So if I go over to Google Chrome store, which is going to take me over to, all you're gonna do is you're going to click add to Chrome. And as we can see guys, it says remove from Chrome, but we don't wanna do that. So if I go up into the top right corner where we go to this jigsaw puzzle and we scroll down, we wanna pin this little wallet where it says Rabi wallet. Now we're gonna see Rabi appear up here and you can move it if you want to. So I'm just gonna move it up closer. And for example, what we're gonna do is we're going to now set up our account. Rabi connects to all the apps that MetaMask supports. Next, self-custodial. So we have private keys like with every other wallet, which we should have anyway, and we're going to get started. Now we have a few options from the get-go. First is obviously creating a new seed phrase. Second is obviously importing an existing seed phrase if you have one. We have a private key which is similar to a seed phrase but just a different series of characters. One that is recommended by Rabi themselves is to import your MetaMask account and I believe you get more points for doing so, which we'll go through later on in the video. You can connect your hardware wallets such as Treasure, Ledger and many others. And of course you can connect mobile wallet apps and, of, and even institutional wallets which as we can see, we've got Safe, Fireblocks, Amber, and so on, which allows for multi-sig approvals. But that's not gonna include most of us, therefore, I'm personally going to be setting up a new crypto wallet, so I'm going to go with the first option, create new seed phrase. And from here, guys, you'll be prompted to set up a password, so input some strong characters, and then once you've done that, you click Next. As we can see, it's taking us over to a new tab. So this is the most important part of setting up a wallet, guys, a crypto wallet, which is going to give you a seed phrase, a series of words that you have to write down in order and make sure that you have got them spelt correctly and 100% make sure you have confirmed that you've not got it saved on any digital device, whether that's on a computer, a phone, make sure that's not written on an email, your notes, whatever it is. Make sure you write it down on a piece of paper, my friends. I use my little Sopranos book to write it down and then I tear off the piece of paper and then I'm just going to store it somewhere safe. But this is obviously just a temporary temporary wallet, one that I'm showing you how to qualify for the airdrop for. Nonetheless, I'm going to reveal my seed phrase, write down my words on a piece of paper or on a metal steel sheet, whichever you have, whatever it is, just make sure it's not on a digital device where it can be compromised. So show seed phrase, Obviously, you're not going to see my seed phrase here, but I'm going to be writing down all 12 words in the exact order that it's asked us to from 1 to 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the list goes on. And then, of course, once we've done that and you've written your seed phrase down and you've confirmed that it is all correct and spelt correctly and in the correct order, then we can continue and click the I've saved the phrase button. And to confirm, I have saved my seed phrase, so I'm just going to continue. And here we go, guys. We just choose addresses in the seed phrase. So we've got a variety that we can choose from. So we've got 50 addresses that we've got under this seed phrase, but I'm just gonna choose one, and that's gonna be this top one, which ends in 690. <laughs> guys, I love that. We've got a little 69 here going on, but let's move on. So we click the done button. Now we can get off the Google Chrome Store page, and off we go. So 
up in our Ruby wallet, we can see what's new. And as we can see, we've got zero assets because we did not import our MetaMask wallet. We have not imported any assets in here whatsoever. And of course, we're going to need to get some. So of course, we've got a few options, my friends. And the first one is to A, use a centralized exchange to buy and then withdraw from the centralized exchange into the wallet address you have on any desired network that you have. Or B, you can simply send from another wallet. So for example, I can send assets from my MetaMask wallet over to the Rabi wallet, which is exactly what I'm personally going to do. Or C, you you can directly use fiat on ramp or see of course you can connect your hardware wallet and continue from there nonetheless my friends what we're going to do is guys as you can see we want to receive some assets first of all so i'm going to be doing the option b which like i said is going to be sending from my metamask wallet over to my rabbi wallet so i'm going to click receive and as you can see we've got a huge variety of chains i believe there are over a hundred different networks to choose from on the rabbi ecosystem which look guys is unbelievable amounts so let's just say for example i just chose the zk sync era network i'm going to copy this wallet address as that's the network I'm going to be using. I'm going to go to my MetaMask wallet. I'm going to switch over to ZK Sync. And out of my $422 that I have, I'm going to send a few dollars worth just to mess around and obviously qualify for the airdrop. So as you can see, when we get to the send option, I'm going to paste the wallet address, which is my Rabi wallet address. And from here, I'm going to send over some Ethereum. I'm going to send over around $20 worth. I'm going to click next. I'm going to confirm the transaction on my MetaMask end. And then if we go up into our Rabi wallet, just like so, we've got our $19.13, our 0.0 six ethereum that we have so you can see your assets by going up to the top here and as you can see we've got 19 dollars worth of ethereum on the zk sync network which you can see from here my friends what do we want to do we want to go over to where it says rabbi points now this is where we're going to be completing all of our tasks to get rabbi points which is of course is going to translate into rabbi tokens and that could even be integrated with dbank so it could be a two-in-one airdrop that we are qualifying for so with rabbi points as you can see we're going to claim our initial points obviously guys we haven't got a wallet balance and because i didn't import my metamask wallet guys i have zero points from this as you can see i am not an active user because i am brand new i have not got a user badge so what we're going to do is we're just going to claim my initial points which is sad of zero I'm going to sign and confirm and then when we go back into rabbi points here we can see that we can start earning some points now i'm going to personally be using my code to share with you guys if you want to use it i would highly appreciate it it's completely up to you and i believe you get some points as well for using it so it will benefit us both by using the rabbi wallet so if we set up my code i'm just going to do hide crypto guys so if you want to do this one then completely up to you you know exactly what referral code it is and you can get yourself some more rabbi points so confirming that and obviously guys make your own referral code so you can share it with your friends too unless you want to give them mine and i would also highly appreciate that too but again that is completely up to you now what we've got down here guys is more ways of earning points so other than referring a new user like i said we have got the ability to swap in rabbi and obviously top up gas in rabbi now earn 10 points by using rabbi swap for every one thousand dollars and it's only once a day earn 10 points by using the gas top up feature with obviously another limit of once a day so what we're going to do is guys if we go back as you can see over here we've got the gas top up feature and for example all you would do is say if you go over to ethereum or if you wanted it on arbitrum or arbitrum nova base say for example it was the base network you would choose however much you want to do let's just do a hundred dollars for example just to say you select the payment token of which you want to top up your gas let's just say i use my eth on the zk sync network i would use this however i haven't got the balance to do so and then it would simply import the tokens over to the base network why is this good guys well because for example it's not just base let's just say for example we use the fusion network how would you get assets over there if you don't know how to import tokens other than using a centralized exchange well you can use the instant gas top up feature which allows you to import the gas token of any network by transferring it from one token on one network to another token on another network just like i've shown you so i can move eth on the zk sync network and make it the fusion token for the fusion gas all in one transaction just as we can see so this is extremely clever guys and it really onboards users to new networks extremely easily because that's exactly what we're looking for in the world of crypto nonetheless guys that's how you use the gas top up feature but another feature, like I said, to earn Rabi points is obviously the swapping in Rabi. So if you go over to where it says swap, all you would do is you would obviously swap $1,000 worth of volume. I don't believe it has to be one transaction worth of $1,000. I believe it can be a, I believe it can be an overall volume of $1,000. Therefore, you could do five transactions of $200 or two transactions of $500 or 10 transactions of $100 to earn those 10 Rabi points. So for example, if I use my $20, I would have to do it over 50 times before I get my 10 points. So obviously, maybe Maybe I would be better off getting more assets over onto the Rabbi wallet before I start getting the points. 
Nonetheless, just to show you how to swap and show you how easy it is, you would choose the network to swap on. Sadly, you cannot swap on the ZK Sync network at the moment, so you're very restricted to the swapping networks. So all that you can use at the moment is Arbitrum, Aurora, AVAX, Base, BNB Chain, Ethereum, Phantom, or Gnosis, Clayton, Optimism, and Polygon. So there are quite a few that you can use at the moment. Sadly, they can't use one of my favorite networks, which is ZK Sync. So what we're gonna do is, guys, I'm going to simply use the base network but obviously I need to get myself the base tokens. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna switch over to base on MetaMask once again. I'm going to send to the wallet address that I have on Rabi. I'm gonna choose the amount that I wanna send. I'm just gonna do $10 guys, just as a tutorial. Remember, the amount of volume that I'm spending on this video is not how much you should be doing. Obviously, if you wanna qualify for the Rabi airdrop, because it is not gonna get you anywhere. If you want the Rabi wallet airdrop, you're going to need to do $1,000 in volume. You will not be doing that with $10. And if you do, you're gonna basically splash it all on fees the whole way through. So what we want to do is we want to wait for our base assets to send over and then obviously once it does we can then continue and swap our assets. So as we can see we have now got our base tokens. So if we click on this little section here we can see that we've now got ETH in the base network and ETH on the ZK Sync network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go over to the swap feature and I'm going to be swapping my Ethereum tokens into other tokens using the Rabi wallet. So for example if I just did USDC and I just did 0.001 which is $3 worth. I'm going to get $3 worth of USDC and it's going to aggregate the best swap from the best DEXs, which for example, it uses the one inch DEX aggregator. We've got the Paraswap DEX aggregator and we've got the zero DEX aggregator. Obviously, one inch is the best one here. So I'm going to enable it, confirm. And if we go back, now I can choose the one inch to swap. I swap via one inch through the Rabi wallet. I'm going to sign and confirm the transaction. Guys, look how detailed this is. Guys, you see everything from the paying, the receiving, the minimum receiving amount, the interaction with the contract the token out and the token in the gas amount as well so you can choose the custom standard instant or fast broadcast mode transactions will be immediately broadcast to the network cool instant so i actually really like this guys it looks so much clearer than metamask it tells you exactly what to expect i'm going to sign and confirm the transaction on the right hand side and now if we go up into our rabbi wallet once again as you can see we've got a little pending here now it's been swapped if we go back into our assets as you can see we've now got our three dollars and 18 cents worth of usdc I must say guys that you might need to refresh the Rabi wallet every now and then to update your assets. So for example, all you would do is just go like that, come back on here and it would refresh. As you can see, it is loading up again, or you can just click this refresh button and it would do the same thing. However, basically guys, you wanna use the Rabi wallet every single day, obviously, to get those thousand dollar volume completed. If you can obviously top up different networks, just start using it once a day. Doesn't matter how much you do, you can do $20, $50, it's completely up to you. It just says to use the feature and of course, then you will get 10 points, which is exactly what you want. Now, like I said, guys, we know it is developed by DBank. So obviously, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, you want to come over here and you want to verify yourself as a Rabi valued user. And then you want to connect your wallet and you want to connect with Rabi wallet. As we can see, we're going to connect with DBank. Now we're going to verify the address. I'm not a robot. Obviously, we can see the tractor here. Click next. And as we can see, we've got to sign the message and create, confirm it. We're not going to mint a Web3 ID. We now go to our Web3 badges. And obviously, this isn't my MetaMask wallet now. We're now using my Rabi wallet account. Therefore, I'm going to go to Rabi Valued User. And I'm going to click Mint again. We're going to have to follow this. Click the traffic lights. Yeah, yeah. Verify. Get the claim code. And obviously, we copy this code. Go back into our Rabi wallet. Go back to More. Claim the Rabi badge. Enter the claim code. Click Claim. And voila, we are now Rabi Valued User number 232171. So now if we click the refresh button, as you can see, we've got our minted Rabi valued user badge. And like it said, we are number 232,171 in the world. My friends, all you want to do is you want to now start interacting with DBank. I reckon that if you mint your Web3 ID as well as using the, the DBank Layer 2 network, you're going to help qualify for the DBank and Rabi airdrop. I think it could be at the same time, my friends, or it could even be a all-in-one airdrop where Rabi and DBank share a token. We are not aware of that yet. However, all I know is that you can set up a Web3 ID. It will cost you $96. You're going to need to deposit into the DBank L2. You can withdraw it to the L1 at any time just to let you know. 
but by using the dbank layer 2 network by using dbank by using the minting id and obviously by using the features in the point system my friends you're going to qualify for the airdrop now what i must mention is that they're going to be keeping an eye of how many assets you have in your wallet if you have zero dollars in your assets by the time of the snapshot i reckon you're not going to qualify for the airdrop therefore maybe you might be better off importing your metamask wallet completely but that is not financial advice i'm personally not going to do that because i want to keep my metamask wallet and because i think that airdrop is going to be huge as well nonetheless my friends that is basically it for this video you can use rabi wallet as your normal wallet like every other wallet it is a pretty cool wallet i'm not gonna lie but i do prefer metamask because i'm probably just used to it however we can get our hands on the rabi wallet airdrop just by following this simple guide and guys if you have any questions you can hit me up on x at high crypto guy but one more thing before we go guys we have over 100 airdrop tutorials this is the 101st airdrop tutorial on this youtube channel if you want to check them out by all means check them out they're all free to watch obviously we've got solana ecosystem airdrops all all kinds of airdrops following on layer 2 networks even decentralized exchanges wallets you name it we've got it guys and we're not stopping anytime soon so if you want to join us on our journey to a hundred thousand dollars from airdrops then you know what to do subscribe like leave a comment my friends i appreciate you all so much and one more thing before we leave we also have a promotion running on bybit the best centralized exchange platform for buying trading and earning bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple if you need help finding the right crypto gems then follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews crypto guides and more thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative until next time dgens